Guys, welcome to my car tier list. This is going to go through all of the cars that I have owned, skipping a couple here and there, mostly because sometimes I buy the same car twice, but this is basically all the cars. I'm gonna show you all of them, kind of go through the, uh, the history of them a little bit, and go from uh, oldest to newest as well. So sit back, relax, let's go ahead and check them out because I know some of you guys know a few of them. Some of the cars are more well known than others, but let's jump into this guys. Number one, the very first car that sort of inspired me to get into cars is my 2008 Mitsubishi Lancer. You guys can see it right here. Now, this is a special car to me. It's the first car I've ever owned. I bought it myself when I was 16 years old. Did all the work myself. Granted, all I did was like, you know, paint the hood black, paint the spoiler black, get some rims. That's basically all I did, but I loved this thing. So I gotta put this in I'll say A tier only because I know some people aren't going to think that that's anything, especially compared to some of the cars that I've had, so we'll put them in A tier for now. Now the second car I ever bought was this 2010 Hyundai Genesis Coupe. I loved this car as well. I have some pictures, I did a little bit of work with it as well. We got a muffler delete on it, granted I was only 17, but we did a muffler delete. I uh, I changed the housings of the headlights, painted them black, put some cool um, LED ring lights in there. It was a sick car and I really liked it. Nowadays, they're you know kind of well known to have problems, but back then man, this thing was sick. So I'm gonna put this guy in B tier. Only reason because if I put it in A tier, um, it doesn't have the same sentimental value to me and especially nowadays it's really not that interesting of a car. 2 liter turbo, it had 210 horsepower. To me that was plenty of speed and uh, I liked it. But for now it's going in B tier. Now back in the day I did also have a pickup. Now this was my 2006 F-150. This thing was garbage. Complete garbage. First of all, I shouldn't have bought it. Back then I didn't have the money to have two cars at the same time. All of this was before YouTube as well. I wasn't doing YouTube full time. I was working a full time job and uh, these cars were just, you know, kind of starting to have problems. So this F-150 had the 5.4 liter Triton V8. It was garbage. I ended up getting this truck towed because I left it in a parking lot for weeks. It had check engine lights. It had a ton of issues. The tires were running flat all the time and I just didn't want to deal with it. So I left it in a parking lot and it got towed. So this, if anything would be D tier, this F-150 is D tier. So that's where it's going. That thing was garbage. And I ended up losing like $2,000 on it too. Now we've got another car, which I barely even drove. I drove it to one trip to like Ottawa. So it was like a, you know, a car I owned for like a month. And that would be my 2016 Honda Civic hatchback. Not gonna lie, this is a good car if you're like getting a car for yourself and you don't care if it's manual or auto. This thing is good. Heated seats, you get Apple CarPlay, nice big screen, great on fuel, awesome, tons of space. It's a good car. It was just so boring, man. Like, I can't lie. This was the most boring car. So I kept it for a month before I got rid of it. So. For that reason, it's gonna go in B because it's not a bad car for the average person. It was just not the car for me. Also, fun fact, that was the first car I ever financed as well. And uh, I started to learn that um, getting loans for cars is not always the best choice. Now, next up, this is when things start to get spicy. This was my favorite car, the car I still to this day have had the longest. And unfortunately, I sold it um, about two years ago, but this is the most iconic car on the channel. If you know any of my cars, you'll probably know this one. This was my 2015 Mustang EcoBoost. I did a lot to this car. I even had an intro that had the car featured in it, and I used that intro for years. This was my dream car for the longest time. I felt like I finally had the perfect car. I never needed to change it, never needed to do anything, and well, Obviously things changed and I did end up changing it many times, but this Mustang EcoBoost is so so special to me And for that reason, I know it's an EcoBoost. It's going in S tier I don't care what any of you guys say this is a very special car to me and uh, I just I don't know man it, it was so iconic everybody at one time on my channel knew about it even people in my home city recognized it as well It was well known locally known uh, known on the internet 
awesome car and really good on gas too I mean it wasn't a v8 so really good on gas now up until this point all of the cars you see um, none of them were manual at this point they were all automatic all the cars here and I decided it was time to get a manual so of course we went with the, the classic 2006 Civic Si now don't get me wrong here this is a good car if you buy the right one this one however was a complete load of crap i had so many problems i had to replace the tensioner the coils the springs i had to replace the tires this thing had issues on issues it wouldn't start some days because the starter was broken and the battery needed to be replaced this thing had paint problems i only paid three grand for it but I ended up selling it also for three grand. It was garbage after putting like a grand or two of money into it. So this is a good car if you buy the right one, but this one was garbage, but it did teach me how to drive manual. And for that, I got to put it in C tier. It's not D tier level, but it wasn't great, but it did teach some very valuable lessons. And I did learn how to work on a car a little bit with it too, so I mean, hey, it could have been worse. Now at this point, I only have the Mustang EcoBoost in the Civic. I decided to trade the Civic in for by far one of the best cars I ever owned, ever. This is my 2017 Subaru WRX STI, which if I would have still had it to this day, would have been so much car for 30 grand. Back then it was only $30,000. Now this exact car probably could have been sold for 40 to 45,000. It had all the right mods, no engine mods, just beautiful like mud flap, side skirt, front lip, um, it had some JDM fog lights, but everything was stock under the hood, and it was an amazing car, a very difficult car. I remember taking it home from Toronto during rush hour traffic, not really knowing how to drive it, and it was the most stressful drive home after picking up a car ever. But once I got used to it, I would take this car out every single day and drive it to get good at it. It really did teach me how to drive a standard, and um, I loved it, man. I, I have so many good things to say about a Subaru STI. So that is, to me, an S-tier car. I think for the money, if you don't wanna go crazy and buy some like crazy expensive car, and you want like a good dream car, an STI is like the best, man. It is so, so much car and so much fun. So at this point, I have just the EcoBoost and the STI. I loved both of them. I had everything I could want. A four-door, practical, manual, tons of fun, and a sleek, good-looking coupe for the weekend. So everything looked good, but for some reason, for some reason, I wanted a truck again. So what did I go ahead and do? I traded in my STI for this 2019 Ram 1500. Granted, this was a sick truck. In one year, I drove it all over my province, all over the place. I did so many road trips. It was great on gas. I had a V8, I put an exhaust on it. It sounded amazing, but I did also regret getting rid of the STI. It was a great, great car. Still sad I don't have the STI and the Ram, you know, for what it is, it's a great pickup truck, but I didn't really need a pickup truck, so, I don't know, man. I, I wish I could go ahead and do it. I don't know why I put an S tier. This is definitely more of a... Oh, geez. Um, maybe just an A tier. We'll put an A tier. It's a great truck. Four-door, good on gas, V8, awesome vehicle, but more than I needed, and I missed my STI a lot. Now, of course, we went back to not having a manual, so I got the itch. I needed a manual car in my life, so of course, we got... And this was for sure one of the best cars for the money as well. A 2008 Civic Si FA5, which means it has a four-door. It was the full entire, not a coupe, the more desirable four-door. And it was such a good car. I bought it from somebody who really took care of it. He did track it, but he took care of it. So it had lowered springs. It had an intake, but that was it. And I loved this vehicle, man. I wish I could have kept this as well. It's another car that's probably worth a lot more nowadays, but still, I do miss it. I think if you have less than 10k and you want a good car, you gotta get a Civic Si, man. These things are so much fun with the VTEC and everything. You get them lowered and they are honestly a little track monster. So there you go. That is my manual. I've got three cars here. You can see the photo. I've got my EcoBoost, I've got my pickup, and I've got my manual Civic Si. Honestly, I should have stopped there. I don't need anything else. That's perfect. I've got it all. Everything. I got the pickup. I got the coupe. I got the four-door. That's good, right? Like, I don't need anything else. Of course, we didn't stop there. 
Now, for some reason, I don't have the Mustang on here, but I did once, I'll put it on the screen, have a 2015 Mustang GT Premium. Dude, I'm telling you, this was the coolest car ever. Way more power than I could ever need at the time. But wow, what an amazing beast of a vehicle. I love this thing. And I ended up getting rid of my EcoBoost and my Civic Si to get this. Because technically, if you think about it, I'm getting the manual, I'm getting the V8, Plus, I am getting uh, a coupe and everything, so I thought, you know what, get rid of both of the Civic and the Mustang EcoBoost and get yourself the Mustang GT, the perfect dream car. I loved this thing. It's not here on this list, so I'll just use one of these duplicate photos, I guess, or we'll just forget it. I'll kind of maybe Photoshop it on there, but yeah. That thing definitely goes in S-Class as well because that thing is so, so, so nice and uh, it was a dream just to see it in my garage, just to see it out there on the road. It sounded amazing. It did have some issues. I ended up selling it back for what I paid, um, but you know, for the time that I owned it, it was fantastic. So at this point, it's just the truck and the Mustang, but the Mustang got sold, so it's just the truck. I decided then it was the right time to go ahead and, uh, well, move forward I guess. We traded in the truck and I ended up getting a Tesla Model 3. Now, it's a Tesla, okay? There's not much to say. I wanted to save money on gas. It was a great deal. I knew I could make some money selling it later, so I got it. Um, didn't keep it for long. I actually, funny, I traded the truck for the Tesla, then I traded the Tesla for another Ram, and then I traded that Ram for another Tesla. Looking back, I don't know what the heck I was thinking, but uh, yeah, I got the last Tesla, basically, and that would be this black one here, which I'm gonna just put it in B tier because eh, it's a Tesla, man. I got cooler cars to talk about than that, so it, you know, you know all about Tesla. So at this point, my only car was the Tesla, and I decided I wanted a truck. So this was a cool truck, just a little bit small on the inside. This was my lifted 2021 Ford Ranger. I loved the color, I loved how it looked, it was lifted, it felt like a super, super cool truck. I just didn't keep it long because it was small. Especially coming from Rams and stuff like that, I was used to bigger trucks. So for the average person, this is probably pretty good, but for me, I'll put it in B tier. I mean, I, I prefer the bigger trucks. Now, after keeping this for a while, I got the itch to want a Subaru or some sort of manual again, so I decided to trade in that Ranger and get myself a 2020 WRX Limited. You guys have seen some vlogs with this car. I've done some mods, I did some stuff. I really love this car. It came with an exhaust, it sounded amazing. This was a great car to drive, great on gas. There's a huge aftermarket for it. You can mod it to the sky and uh, it's a good car. Not as great as the STI, but still a good car. I'm gonna put this guy probably in A tier. I think it's a great car for the money and you can't really go wrong with a WRX. Also, I have a Crosstrek in here. Technically, I traded in the Ranger for this Crosstrek. But I didn't keep the cross track for long. I ended up keeping it for a month because somebody was willing to pay me $4,000 more than I paid for the cross track brand new. So I gave it to him, he took it, and then I bought this WRX. So the cross track was manual, which was very rare, um, but I'll just put that in B tier. It's a B tier car, to be honest. So at this point, it's just the WRX. Now, just having the WRX, I was deciding whether or not I wanted to pull a trailer across the entire country in this WRX. I almost did, but I decided to trade in the WRX. We got a great deal on the trade-in, and I ended up getting what is currently my favorite vehicle, only because of its adventure capabilities and everything. I still have it now, a year later. This is my 2017 F-150 um, XLT and I have to say this truck has been amazing to me. It hasn't caused me any problems whatsoever. It has been a fantastic truck. The only thing that's keeping it from S tier is it doesn't have a V8, which I wish it did, but it is what it is. It gets good gas mileage. I have some new modifications coming. I just put a rack on the back. I'm going to put a tent on top of it. It's going to be an off-road beast. It's already on 34-inch wheels and a lift, and I, I love it. I think it's an awesome truck. It's been great to me. Now, at this point, the truck has made it all the way across the country. It's taken us there issue-free, no problems. I had my cats in there, my girlfriend. We had a trailer. We had a 12-foot trailer behind the truck, and we got all the way across the country, no problems. So we made it to our new home, and after that, I decided I wanted to spend a little bit of money, I guess, and uh, things kind of just worked out the right way. Guys, 
I bought my dream car. My dream car. A lot of people's dream car. I bought a 2014 Nissan GTR. I mean, do I have to say much about this? Not to mention the car was modified already and had 600 horsepower. This thing was so amazing. But it's an expensive car. I spent over $100,000 on this car. I can't believe I had the chance to own a car like this. It was amazing, but so much car, man. I gotta be smarter with my money. I need to buy other things. I need to be smarter. A hundred grand can get you three or four unbelievable cars. So the time came when I was ready to sell it. I raced it. I put it on the drag strip. I did about six videos for YouTube. You guys have seen them. Um, it was a fantastic car. I don't think there's much better here. I mean, this is uh, the easiest S tier car I can put on this list. So 100%, I've got two pictures of it. We'll just throw them both on there. The GTR, best car I ever owned. Best car I ever owned. If I had unlimited money, I would keep that car for my life. But unfortunately, you know, you gotta be smart sometimes and you gotta get out of these things when you can. So it went. And instead, I bought a Scion FRS. Actually, I kind of messed up the order, but the Scion FRS came before the GTR. Awesome freaking car, dude. These cars, if you can get them for like 10 to 15K, they have so much potential, dude. You can do so much. You can turbo them. You can supercharge them. You can keep them NA. You can drift them. You can track them. You can do a million different things with these cars. I think they are the perfect entry level car if you want something just for the summer. If you don't care about all wheel drive or winter or anything, an FRS is the best, dude. It is so cool. So this is an A tier, easy, hands down. You can't go wrong with an FRS. Now, the GTR left I just have the truck, I needed to have something fun again, and I went with, honestly, now currently my dream car, my dream spec at least, and it is my 2016 Mustang GT Premium Performance Pack. It has the Performance Pack wheels, the Performance Pack Torsen LSD, everything, it's manual of course, red leather interior as well, it is so beautiful, I love it to death, it is for sure one of the best cars I've ever owned, and it has an exhaust. It's killer. I think it's a good replacement for the GTR if I wanted to save money, which I did. Um, I'm going to put this guy in actually the S tier. I think for the money, it is an S tier car. The GT is just perfect. Black on black, red leather interior. It is a sexy car. I do love it a lot. And guys, that's where we're at. I've got my F-150. I've got my uh, Mustang GT currently. Lisa has a WRX right now. And we do actually also have a Tesla that I couldn't say no to. It's another black Tesla. So, you know, not much to say. But I've got four cars. I'm currently looking to sell a couple of them. Um, and let me know what you guys think I should buy next. But that's basically the tier list, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope this, like, storytelling and everything was cool. And if you guys learned a little bit, I hope you guys take some of what I said and help decide on what cars you want. Civic SI if you're under 10k, um, FRS if you don't care about winter or anything like that, um, STI WRX if you've got a little bit more money to spend. Take it from me, those have been great to me, awesome, awesome cars. But let me know if you guys would change this list at all or anything. I'm going to leave the list down below. You guys can actually make your own changes if you wanted to. But thanks for watching this, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, if you want me to do something like this again, let me know. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.